Hi, welcome again. So in this lesson, let us try to understand the objectives of static and dynamic testing, the type of defects that are found using static testing and the type of defects that can be found using dynamic testing. Some of the defects can be found by both techniques, but which is the better technique to find a particular type of defect, let us try to understand. Now, let us quickly understand objectives of static and dynamic testing. What type of defects are more commonly found using static techniques and what other kind of problems that can only be found by dynamic testing. So when we are talking about static and dynamic testing, we are not telling that static techniques are much better than dynamic techniques. Both of them are important. Each of these techniques, they are capable of finding different types of defects. So in static testing, what kind of defects generally we find? So static techniques are generally better at finding errors related to the completeness, correctness and consistency of your product because these are always captured inside a document. If the document doesn't have those elements, they can be only reviewed by intelligent people and we can take them out. That is why static techniques are very useful. So typical examples include missing or inaccurate information. So if a requirement is wrongly written or if an important requirement is missing from the requirement document, then that can be found only by static techniques and ambiguities and requirements. If it is not specified with a lot of clarity, then it can be found only by applying static techniques. Inconsistencies. One part of the requirement is saying one thing, another part of the requirement is contradicting what we said earlier. That is called inconsistency. Those kind of things can be found only by static examination. Then deviations from rules and standards, especially a lot of companies apply source code coding standards and if they are not followed, they cannot be found by executing the code. They can be found only by checking very carefully against the checklist of standards and then only it can be found. And those things can be found by tools much better than humans. Unnecessary complexity. A program can be written in multiple ways. A very senior programmer, they write the program with less complexity so that others can understand. Debugging is easy. And sometimes inexperienced programmers make it very, very complex. The control flow design will be very poor. And that is what we call complex, complexity of code. Whenever the complexity of the code increases, the testability of the code decreases. Whenever there is a problem happens in that complex code, people will not be able to easily debug and correct it. So that is why a good code has to be simple. The complexity has to be reduced. We talk about that later in a lesson about what we call cyclomactic complexity of code or a uh, control flow structure. So if a program is having unnecessary complexity, it can be found by static analysis tools non-conformance with policies and maintainability of code. As we talked, over complex code is less maintainable. What is the meaning of maintainability? Ease with which you can perform change. So you wrote a code, a programmer A wrote a code and he left the organization and there is a bug reported in that code and a programmer B is coming now in his place or her place and he has to, he or she has to debug the code and fix the code. Now, if it is not written very well, change, making change will become extremely complex. It takes a lot of time. So, how do we address this? Whether the code has enough number of comments, whether the control flow structures are designed in an elegant manner or not, they have to be found by looking at the code. So, these are the typical problems that can be found easily and only by static testing. On the other hand, dynamic testing techniques are better at finding errors that occur only when the software executes. So what are examples of those things? 
those are incorrect or missing functions when it is executing we can find some functionality is missing that can be much more easily found by a review but those things can be found by executing code as well handling unexpected occurrences whenever divide by zero happening then whether software is crashing or they have been handled in an appropriate manner so those kind of things can be found by the time of execution also design mistakes they can be found by static testing and they can be found as well as in dynamic testing faulty data structures interface failures the interconnectedness of various programs whenever it's failing it can be found during the execution time performance issues whether the response time is okay or not only by executing we can find them the environment issues software hardware networks all these things can be found only by deploying the software and executing the software and initialization and termination faults these are the type of faults that can be found using dynamic testing so now we understood what are the type of problems that are found easily by static testing and what are the type of problems that are found by dynamic testing so now let us pause and check your understanding so we have six statements there you identify which statement describes a test objective that can be accomplished best with static testing and which are accomplished with dynamic testing so that is what we are checking so one eliminate ambiguities in requirement specifications how can it be accomplished by using static testing or by using dynamic testing which one yes you are right static testing can far more easily find these problems and far more early in the life cycle these problems can be found find inaccuracies in plans a plan document is there check for inaccuracies and find them how can it be found static testing improve maintainability of code so can you find it using dynamic testing by executing can you know whether the code is written in a complex manner without comments no by examining statically only you can find that so static testing is the right answer there identify performance issues whether the software under concurrent usage load whether it is slowing down or is it meeting the response times properly how will you find that by looking into your design document can you find it no you have to execute the software under that concurrent usage load and then only you can find so dynamic testing only can find the performance issues find interface failures between hardware software between a software another software when they are integrating and working together finding those interface errors how they can be found by executing code by exercising the software only dynamic way only we can find them the sixth one is find deviations from standards whether the code the programmers have followed the company standards or not can they be found by executing code no you can find them only by analyzing the code either manually or by using tools so that is how we differentiate the type of problems that can be found between static and dynamic testing so hope you have enjoyed the lesson so please go through the videos whenever you have doubts please ask your questions in your discussion forum and i will be answering you and read the reading material that has been put in your database so learn and have fun